You made it. Of course I did. Barnabas was ready to go after you again. Like he said, it's the thought that counts, right? Apparently. Come, the others are waiting. We were worried you wouldn't make it. Especially with every Athenian guard looking for you. Cleon will have to do more than that to stop me. What's all this? We've begun working on a plan to take down Cleon. Although I hardly call it a plan. Lots of talking, not much action. It feels different without Pericles. But his inspiration lives on. That's why we're here. Where once we gathered to forget our problems, now we meet them head on. And get back to what truly matters. To restore Athens to its former glory. So, you're taking down Cleon. Tell me the plan. It won't be simple. His death would disrupt the peace and be worse for Athens. He's right. We must discredit him first. Aristophanes apparently has some play he thinks will do the job. Some play? It is so much more than that. Oh, don't get your tunic in a twist. I just don't see why we can't all love each other. It's so much more fun that way. What's so special about the play? Will your famous orange ape impression be making an appearance? Ha! Funnily enough, that was the inspiration. Isn't it a risk to show him in a bad light in front of his admirers? I think the play will change their minds. Good art is risky, but my plan will work. We can't just sit around. Cleon is sending a boat to Mytilini to kill the people there. The people trust Cleon. They'll vote for whatever action he puts forth. But that does not mean we plan to do nothing. Taking down Cleon won't be easy. But with your help, it will be possible. It'll be a disaster! A disaster, I tell you! Calm down. What are you talking about? My masterpiece! It will change everything! Amuse, astound, titillate, and open people's eyes to Cleon's machinations. But I need you! I am no actor or poet, Aristophanes. By the gods, no! It's Thespis! My leading man is missing! A play with no star is no play at all! How do you know he's missing? He never misses a rehearsal, unless he's drunk, or with a woman, or a man. Could be anything, then. No, he knows how important this is. He wouldn't let me down. Something must be wrong. You could just get another actor. Oh, no. Thespis always draws a huge crowd for his performances. The more people who experience my blistering indictment of Cleon, the better. So where would I find him? Thespis usually doesn't go far from his home. You'd best start there. This shouldn't take long. Prepare the show, and I'll be back as soon as I find him. Come on, come on, it's got to be here. The commander will be... You don't look like an actor. Unless you're playing an Athenian guard. I... I... Hush! I'm going to ask some questions, and you're going to answer. But Commander Axenor... What's your name? Bulis. Well, Bulis, it's your choice whether you walk out of here. Do you understand? Yes. Tell me, what are you looking for? Some stupid play. They don't tell me anything. Play? I just do what I'm told, and they told me to destroy the manuscript. What have you done with Thespis? S some of the boys are meant to keep him drunk in the tavern down the street. You'd better be telling me everything. All I know is they wanted to keep this actor busy. See for yourself, he's at the tavern. You sure, that's all? I just follow the commander's orders. I don't ask questions. 
Do something worthwhile and join my crew. You're loyal, and you follow orders. You take me? What do you say? To get away from Athens? Thank you. Thank you. I'd love to stay, but my cup's drained and I'm to perform tomorrow. Another drink! Come, one more tale! The night is young! I think he's had enough. And what business is it of yours, friend? Yeah, what business? Oh, look at you. You'd best be leaving. I'm here for his employer, Aristophanes. So? He's not working now? Yes, he's not working. I like him, though. Aristophanes, funny man. But the opinions told him it's dangerous. That it is. I need him sober and rested. I don't think you understand the situation. Commander Raxenor's orders are he's not to leave. I said I'd stay. Don't want trouble. If you don't want to leave with your head stuffed up your asses, you'll go now! We'll be seeing you, Mistyos. The commander's not a man to be messed with. I's not feeling too good. He said... You're behind the mask, you'll be perfectly safe, he said. You so strong, Ekaterini. Whee! Giddy up! My parents said you'll either be an actor or a drunk. <laughs> I fooled them, I became both. Told him Cleon will kill us all. It's more assault than satire. The sausage seller was my idea. Then I will. Thank you, but you can go no further. For I know true love. I just need you ready to perform tomorrow. Of course, and I just need my muse. My love, I can't. I won't perform without her. You will perform. Uh-uh, not without a Caterini. A divine name for a divine body. I mean being. Those men in the tavern, who were they? Oh, the admirers? Harmless, really. And I do like a man in uniform. You need to sober up. This play is important. So is a Caterini. I need my muse. Please, she's just west of here at the house of Aphrodite. If it means you'll do the play, I'll find your muse. Going to enjoy this. I'll mess that pretty face right up. No need for jealousy. Just because your mother was a goat? Like mother, like kid. You need to die! I sometimes wonder if leaving Apollonia was a good idea. Mm. What? Mm. You're gonna get your ass kicked to you. Not my usual type. Too many muscles. But if you've got a drachmi, we can come to an arrangement. Thespis said I'd find you here. Ah, my darling Thespis. An artist in so many ways. But let's talk about us. I thought you were Thespis's great love. That is love. This is commerce. So, what are you into? No, this piece wants you to go to him. 
He needs you to help him perform tomorrow. Thespis does love to perform, but he'll be doing it without me this time. But you're his news? Commander Exenor has made it clear. It would cost me my life if I were to associate with Thespis right now. I've been hearing about this Commander Rexenor a lot recently. He's one of Cleon's favorite dogs. I've heard stories from some of the girls. Likes to play dress up, got a fancy robe and mask. Likes to hurt people too. I'm sorry. He runs the local garrison. His men are always here. They tell him in an instant if I was gone. Why would this commander threaten you? It's all to do with this stupid play. They're doing everything they can to protect Cleon's image. Still, to threaten you? Actors are a superstitious bunch. Commander Rexenor knows Thespis won't perform without his muse waiting in the wings. Don't worry. I'll deal with Commander Rexenor. You don't understand what a bastard he is. He's more than just some Athenian soldier. What do you mean? Secret meetings, strange visitors. He gives me the creeps. You'll have to kill him. There's no other option. If I do this, will you go to Thespis? It'd be my pleasure. Where can I find the commander? In the barracks across the street to the north. The girls have to visit him there when he wants servicing. Doesn't have the stamina to come down here. Can you describe him? He wears one of those big stupid helms. Makes up for other areas. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Bring me back his little sword as proof. I'll be back soon. Let no man be called happy before his death. Till then, he's not happy. Only lucky. There seems little doubt that Rexenor is aligned with the Cult of Cosmos. Is this proof enough of his death? Not quite the sword I meant, but as long as he's dead. My part is done. Go make sure Thespis is at the theater in time for his performance. You are too tense. Come here and lie a while. We've time to have a little fun, or is it always business with you? Is it with you? So blood does pulse in those veins. It roars. But what of Thespis? Thespis is an actor. Half the girls here have been his muse at one time or another. Now, we need to worry about Thespis and Aristophanes' play. This play is important to you. With it, we hope to make change, for the better. I can see there is more in your eyes, but we are all entitled to our secrets. It's enough for you to know that I plan to stop men like Commander Exenor and Cleon. Please tell me you have news of Thespis. 
He's fine. And he'll be fit to perform your play tomorrow. Oh, thank the gods! I know what actors can be like. Compared to what I'm used to, it was a breath of fresh air. That is so good to hear. Here, for your troubles. The people may be the heart of Athens, but my play will be its voice. <laughs> oh, happy day for us and for our children if Cleon should perish. You also know what a pig's education he has had. Such insults! And to think I was going to propose a statue to be erected in the city to each of you for your bravery! See! He treats us like all daughters and crows at our feet to deceive us. But the cunning wherein his power lies shall this time recoil on himself. Ah! Allah! The conspirators are murdering me! Finally, someone who's willing to have some fun. I'm not sure how many more times I can take Socrates rejecting me. I'm sure you'll get through it. Perhaps you can help take my mind off it. I could always use a bit more fun. I knew it. Let the walls sing with the echoes of our passion as all tension melts from our bodies. I could use some relaxing. Say no more. Even in times of war, a little bit of fun goes a long way. I should have stayed. Someone needed to stop Cleon. Fools look backwards in times like these. And you're no fool. For now, we work to save Mitilini. So that's what all this is? Some kind of plan? Ever since I heard Cleon speak of Mitilini, I have known something was wrong, and I have been taking steps to find out just what. Your plan sounds promising. One of my students is posing as a guard at the Acropolis. Apparently, Cleon is hiding something there and has been meeting others in secret. That's a bold move. Desperate times. If you believe there's something at the Acropolis that'll help, I'll find it. I expect you'll find the proof you need of his offenses. What if the people don't turn against Cleon? They will. I'll be speaking in front of them soon with your help We'll show them the man behind the facade. Where do you need me to go? To the western section of the Acropolis Sanctuary. Anything else you can tell me about where to look? What I know is Cleon's always loved the statue of Athena. Sounds like a good place to start. I'll find something at the Acropolis that Cleon won't be able to deny. Good. I'm headed soon to speak in front of the people at the Pedix. If you find anything that can help, Meet me there. I'll be quick. So to get the key, I need to find the commander Phylos. This shovel looks recently used. Muddy tracks. Probably came from someone in the garden. Looks like someone dug here. Socrates was right. 
This is exactly what we needed. Good, you're here. The people are waiting for me to speak. You should be able to use this to your advantage. It's what I could find about Cleon. Italini is just the first of many places that he wants to wipe out. With the sway he has over the polis, he'd get the votes for death every time. Then it's up to us, right now, to change their minds. So, you'll join me? Talking to the people may not be enough. We need to show them why following Cleon is wrong. I'm surprised to hear you suggest such an idea. Desperate times. Isn't that what you said? So I did. Follow my lead and respond as if you're one of Cleon's supporters, not mine. I'll do my best. But Socrates! Cleon is a man of the people! Tell me, if you harm someone with a sword, are you not responsible? I am! What if you hired someone else to harm another? Are you still responsible for that harm? That's ridiculous! I'm not harming the person, someone else is. Would the person not have been safe from harm otherwise? From me, at least, yes. Then you admit you bear responsibility for that harm, for you have still participated in it, even if indirectly. I suppose I do. We have agreed that we may harm another, even if not by our own hands. That's right. So, let me ask you another question. Who should you trust? The many, or the one who has more expertise? I follow the one with expertise. Surely they know better than I do. Then your decision is based only on what another says. It's all I have to go off of. And if they lied? People who lie to me don't deserve my trust. Nor should they. After all, if someone lies to you a single time, what's to say they would not do so again? Yes, you're right. So you agree that someone who lies to you is not worthy of leading? Of course. Oh, Athenians, would you not also agree that you can have responsibility for harming another, even through someone else? I would. And would you follow someone you found out had lied to you for their own gain? Of course not. Above all things, therefore, I beg and implore you, hear these words. The one you currently follow is lying for his own gain. Cleon has lied to you in order to get the votes needed to attack Mytilini. And we have the proof that he'll do it again. Should the ship arrive in Mytilini, the people stand no chance of surviving. Now that you know the truth, you can take back your decision. Another vote must be called. The lives of those people are in your hands too. The ship must be stopped. That was a great display of rhetoric. The people will be unable to deny what they heard. I guess I've learned something. It must be from all the time I've spent around you. Debate may not always be as quick as a blade, but it can have just as big an effect. But was it enough? I believe word of Cleon's misdeeds will be shared throughout Athens. Its citizens love the city and what it stands for. Nobody wishes for it to fall. So, what's next? The play was a great success, as I knew it would be. With that and the proof you presented at the Phoenix, Cleon has lost much of his popularity. Now he heads to Amphipolis in an effort to redeem himself. Cassandra! Brasidas sent me to find you. He's alive and well. Where is he now? Amphipolis. They're preparing for battle. If you reach him before I do, tell him I'm on the way. So what are you going to do?
Brasidas needs my help. I plan on giving it to him. Though should our paths cross, I won't hesitate to kill Cleon. Whatever you decide, remember he's only a man. I can't promise anything. Be safe. Brasidas, you're here. You got my message. I heard about Pilos. Are you all right? I've been through worse. We have bigger problems right now. After Pilos, what happened? The remaining Spartans found me and gave me time to recover. So I did. But your leg... You disappeared from battle. I was captured. Taken to Athens for an interrogation with Demos and Cleon. They didn't kill you? They tried. So, Cleon's in Amphipolis. Somewhere. And in armor, I hear. He'll fight for his life today. He wants to be the hero. Athenians can't think much of him after what he did. This is our chance, Brasidas. We kill Cleon today. If you don't, then I will. There's something you're not telling me. <sighs> I am here for Cleon. Let's keep it at that. I thought we were friends. You're not who I thought you were. You were raised Spartan. You should know how to be loyal. I came here, didn't I? We're fighting the same fight. You haven't proven that. Let me prove it now. We're wasting time. Athens is gathering reinforcements. I... We need to attack now. Let's go. Malaka. Athenians are here. Spartans, charge! Archers on the wall! Kill you! They need to be shut down! Now! Send these Athenians to Hades! Sandra, come now. Show mercy. You turned him against us. My own brother. We lifted Themos up. We made him great, unstoppable. You made him a monster. Then fight by his side. Teach him. You would have Themos once again. His name is Alexios. I beg you, this world is severed, Cassandra, and will unite it. Shut the fuck up! My hands are empty. Have pity. You will die just as you lived. Uh, as a coward. I'm not through. I won't be forgotten for all I've done. Uh. You're not worth the memory.
That's it then. Irini will want to know Cleon is dead. And Vrasidas. I should have gotten to Vino soon. I'm sorry, my friend. My lamb, you've been gone so long. Brasidas is dead. No. Vimos killed him in battle. And what of my son? Cleon fired an arrow into Vimos's back. Wound didn't look fatal. He could still be alive. Malakas, Cleon. I'll kill him with my bare hands. It's done, Mater. I already sent that snake to the sticks. My family. You're all I have left. Mother, there's something I need to do. I need to go to Mount Taietus, where it all began. My whole life has been spent fighting and running. Running from my past, fighting to forget. I can't do this anymore. My heart was shattered on that mountain. I need to put that night behind me, once and for all. I'm coming with you. This is where everything changed. It's like I never left. Alexios! On the edge of the world, a mother calls out to her child. Touching. Please. You use that name as if it means something to me. It's the name your father and I gave you. Was that before or after you brought me to this mountain to die? It was the cult. I tried to save you. I did everything. The priest told me you were dead. And they told me you abandoned your son. Alexios. Come to me. We are your family. We can go home. Family? Home. <laughs> My sword is my family. The battlefield is my home. I promised to bring him back, Mater. But the cult has poisoned his mind. Promised to bring me back to Mater, did you? <laughs> you didn't bring me here. Why don't you tell our Mater the truth? And what truth is that? That I'm the chosen one. I'm the one with a destiny. I will bring order to this world. You're nothing but a mercenary with a broken spear. You don't have a destiny! You are just a tool used by the cult! I'm glad you said that. Since we first met, I've been trying to figure out what you are to me. You're a weed. Trying to choke and destroy everything I've planted. And you know the best way to kill a weed? Is that the root? Alexios? When I was little, I found a lion cub trapped in a snare. My friend tried to free it. That's when I heard the deadly growl of its mother. I watched as the lioness tore my friend to bloody shreds. Even in the world of beasts. A family 
protects its young! I loved you! I still love you. The one you love is dead. My destiny is clear. And I won't let you get in my way. Lexios, listen to me. You are my brother. I tried to protect you once, and I failed. I will not fail again. This belonged to our grandfather. You've seen it yourself. The future belongs to us now. Old gods and new be praised. Sometimes the face we show to the world needs to be one of strength, despite the chaos we harbor beneath. There's more to being the best than pure strength. That's an excuse for the weak. I'll show you who's weak. Well, at least the family is all together. I'll get more wine. <laughs> 